Well, you've usually seen your cute hoops. I'm not used to this stuff, you know. Uh, obviously, a great performance. You came in here, I noticed you hadn't given up an early run all year. And uh, finally, your one went through. They got off to an early jump. Uh, but you guys bounced back. You get that big second inning. That big second inning. But I noticed, uh, tell me about your game plan coming in as a pitcher now. You seem to throw a lot of breaking balls, a lot of curves from what I see back. Is that how you uh, look to attack in the games? Is that, is that your strength? Yeah, usually that's my strength. Um, I know I don't have the, the fastest fastball, so I usually try to try to keep them off balance, really, work both sides of the plate today. Kind of the game plan was to pitch the three and four hitter, two, four, five guys inside on the fastball and try to work the breaking pitchers in, but that's why I plunked a couple of kids. But, um, yeah. Plunked girls, what? Yeah, no, I know Jack very well, and, and uh, yeah. But, yeah, that's definitely my strategy, usually just keep guys off balance, try to get a lot of ground balls. Definitely a great catcher, Corey Brown. Heck of a game catching, and then the defense really carried us today, too. So, Good young, good young sophomore, Corey Brown. You look good behind the plate. Uh, now, uh, can you tell, uh, throwing a lot of breaking pitches, obviously when you get guys on base, you want to make sure that not too many land in the dirt. Can you tell if it's working for you early in the game? Yeah, usually you can tell first couple innings. First innings kind of try to get in the groove, then second, third inning you can usually see. Um, but you just got to have confidence in those pitches and confidence. It's easy when you have a good catcher. You have confidence. You throw it in the dirt. You're confident that he's going to block it, and the guys don't advance. So that definitely is, really helps me out pitching. Same with the defense. Try to work a lot of grounders and get the get the force plays when, when there's guys on base. So. Well, I noticed uh, we're talking to your coaching staff, and I hadn't seen many of your games, obviously, up to this point. But it seems like uh, the timely hitting was the issue here. And uh, today you broke open. Uh, McEwen got that huge hit. I mean, uh, the, the base is clearing uh, double. That really opened up the floodgates, I think. And uh, you guys seem to, uh, I mean, you've put on the nine runs against a pretty good team that can pitch. You changed Barrel right out of there. He's a good athlete. Uh, you know, you three wins in a row and uh, two shutouts and a win against some pretty good teams. And again, it's got to give you a lot of confidence. Oh, yeah, we're definitely gaining some confidence. Um, the energy was a little bit different today. Once we get the confidence up a little bit, we'll get some more energy. But yeah, like you said, the timely hitting was huge today. Nate, Nate smoked that pitch. And we had everybody, Kawhi and everybody else, is getting big hits. So. I mean, I mean, baseball is a game where you don't need to get a hit. You move the guy over from second to third, and I think that was another big key thing today, too. So, yeah. you played aggressive baseball. I mean, I played Marswood's game, actually, and I thought uh, things went well. Well, good luck the rest of the season, and I heard you go to Oregon, so best of luck to you, right? Thanks for coming on. Bobby Coates, I guess I want to thank uh, everybody, the, the boat coaching staff.